Okay, on this video, I'm going to show you how to change um, an IP address to a static IP address on the Linux Mint operating system. So there's one of two ways you can get to that. You can collect. You can click on this here, double click, and go to Network Connections to get here, or you can go to um, the bottom left corner and type on this and type in um, network connections it pops out right there and you just go here and click on the gear or double click it so this is a MAC address I want to copy that in here So I need to put that in my router later to make it a static address so I want so I can reserve it basically and the next thing you want to do is you want to go to um, IPv4 so I'm going to delete this so I don't want that I'm going to redo everything to start it over so it's going to be like that so you just go to manual and go to add I'm going to make an IP address, so 192.168.1.157, that will be the IP address I want. So subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, uh, gateway is 192.168.1.1, that's the gateway. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to select a DNS server or servers. I'm going to use Google's DNS server. So it's 8.8.8.8, comma, 8.8.4.4, tab. So I'm going to get out of here. So save it. So I'm going to type that. Type that in here. 92168.1.157, and I'm going to save this to my desktop. Call it IP address and Mac. So it's right here. Just like that. What I should have done was I should have went to terminal and I should have just pinged it. I'm gonna ping 192. Right now I'm gonna check what my IP address is. IP C O N F I G I P I F I F C O N I F I G I F config. So right now my IP address is 192.168.1.163. So the change isn't going to take into effect until I reboot the operating system. So um, I'm going to ping 192.168.1.163. I don't remember what it, what I put. One five seven. Okay. So right now it's not using that IP address. That IP address is not being used. So which is good. So I'm gonna close. Open terminal again. This time I'm gonna type in sudo reboot. To reboot it's going to ask for my password that's going to reboot the operating system the operating system that I changed to should work after this computer reboots
Okay, it's booting again. Okay, just just gonna log in here. So changing the IP address to a static IP address is it's similar to Windows, but except in the Windows it's in control panel. Here it's it's in a different place, I guess. So I'm gonna go back to terminal and check what my IP address is. IF config and Basically, this is what I changed to, and now it changed to that. 192.168.1.157. And that's a subnet mask. It's 255.255.255.0. And that's the MAC address. Or machine address code. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my router. And I'm going I'm going to make that IP address permanent. Um everyone's router is different. For me it's 192.168.1.1 to get into my router. I just type in my okay I was able to get into it um, so so I added that right here so for my router it's that's the Mac code for this computer and that's the IP address which I reserve so um, so that's the format so now it's reserved so I don't have to worry about it. Now I don't want to make any modifications so that's how you do it. You just add and then you just add the MAC address and that's it. Basically it. And then you have to reboot your router. I don't know if you can see that. You have to reboot this in order to, for the change to go into effect basically and that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. Ray's 1000KS 1975 signing out.